Rural Alaska is a vast natural tapestry of mountain solitudes, frozen tundra, winding waterways, and small scattered villages as remote from each other and the outside world as any on earth. It is not a land where one would expect to find high technology, yet here supporting the villages is a new telecommunications network as advanced as any on earth. A network that is joining all the villages together and bringing the once inaccessible outside world into the lives of the people. This new network is called Terra Southwest, an $88 million project constructed by United Utilities Incorporated, a wholly owned subsidiary of GCI. The project was funded with $44 million coming from the USDA Rural Utility Service and the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act, and $44 million in the form of a loan to United Utilities Incorporated. Terra Southwest is a high-speed terrestrial broadband network bringing video conferencing, cell phones, distance learning, and internet applications into the homes, schools, hospitals, and businesses of the villages of Southwest Alaska. Until recently, rural Alaska depended primarily on satellite technology to deliver such services as internet, telephone, and data. But as time passed, there was a need for more and more bandwidth, and new applications required greater speed and more reliability than satellites could deliver. Rural Alaska was being left behind as the rest of the world advanced. The answer was to transition from satellite to a terrestrial or ground-based broadband network. The logistical challenge of building a state-of-the-art broadband network to some 65 remote villages and 9,000 households in rural southwest Alaska was enormous. This network needed to traverse rugged mountains and tundra, span huge distances in country where the villages are far beyond where any roads go. Everything had to be loaded on barges or flown by helicopter to remote mountaintops. Fortunately, the people of United Utilities Incorporated and GCI were no strangers to rural Alaska. They're a homegrown company. I think they're mostly in-state people that uh, know how to make stuff work. They've lived it, they've worked it. They know these guys by their name. The network is a hybrid broadband system combining over 400 miles of submarine and land-based fiber optic cable with 13 new microwave towers. The eastern edge of Terra Southwest is near Homer, where the marine cable-laying ship Intrepid unloaded fiber optic cable onto a small landing craft. The cable was spooled out into the shallow water to shore and connected to the existing GCI network. Once connected, Intrepid began its slow, precise journey across Cook Inlet to Williamsport, laying cable along the way. The route of the cable traversed mountains, crossed miles of tundra, rivers, and lakes, including Lake Iliamna, Lake Clark, and Six Mile Lake. Here, the submarine cable was spooled out by a special cable-laying barge, linking small Alaska native villages like Nondalton to a new era of telecommunications. In the village of Port Allsworth on Lake Clark, the northernmost village on the Terra Southwest network, the Wilder family owns an air taxi business and bed and breakfast. Like so many businesses in rural Southwest Alaska, getting access to high-speed internet will make all the difference in the world. It's a small family business, air taxi, rental service, bed and breakfast. All of those would be greatly affected um, by high-speed internet and just improving in our ability to function and um, get our name out there and get more business. Terra Southwest is creating parity between rural and urban Alaska. Now the most isolated businesses have access to the same high-speed internet and cellular services that urban businesses have enjoyed for years. The method used to deploy the fiber optic cable depended on the nature of the terrain to be crossed. In rugged mountain canyons, the cable was raised high above the ground on more than 200 poles and precisely tensioned.
Construction needed to account for not only challenging terrain, but also for the seasons. In Igiagi, workers waited for just the right conditions to carefully lay 43 miles of cable across the frozen tundra. Once the cable had been spooled out along the route, a route precisely controlled by an advanced GPS system, a trench six to 12 inches deep was cut into the earth. The fiber optic cable was then laid in the trench and covered over for protection. The winter work was difficult and often dangerous. The hazards encountered in this vast and sometimes treacherous land highlight one of the major benefits of the new broadband network. Health care for the people in the villages often depended on being able to medevac patients into larger hub villages. The difference between life and death depended on changeable, turbulent weather. Now, since the system connects to hospitals and clinics throughout the region, the quality of health care is raised to a new level. We have uh, 28 village clinics that we support, and each one of those clinics has health aides in it that need access to the internet, need access to their medical records that are hosted on a server here in Dillingham to do telemedicine, video conferencing, and to get uh, continuing education for their careers. The technology does bring a parity of care to rural Alaskans. The heart of that technology is contained in sophisticated communication modules designed and fabricated by crews in Walla Walla, Washington. Each of those modules is destined for one of the isolated microwave sites. In Palmer, Alaska, state-of-the-art power modules were completed. The modules were first shipped by truck, then by barge. Because of the remote locations, the modules were lifted into the mountains by Chinook helicopter. The modules are designed to operate remotely for decades on their harsh and inaccessible mountaintop sites. A total of 13 new microwave tower sites were constructed for the network. The largest tower in the network is 250 feet high. Terra Southwest is lifting the hopes and dreams of an entire generation of rural Alaskans. Children will be able to share their culture while learning about other cultures around the world. In terms of education, parity with the rest of the country is within reach. We think there are lots of opportunities to use the emerging technologies, now the latest broadband, to really change the structure and the quality of life in rural Alaska and make it better for all of us. So what's next? We'll continue to work towards our vision of building terrestrial networks for every region of rural Alaska. And with your continued support, I expect we'll make it a reality. In a remarkably short time, Terra Southwest has brought to rural Alaska opportunities of a revolutionary proportion. Opportunities to compete with the outside world in the areas of business, education, and health care. Opportunities to learn, to grow, to prosper. <laughs>